Um, if you're new to the channel and this is your first time you've ever watched one of my videos, I just want to say uh, welcome and uh, I hope that you do find something uh, interesting or beneficial in my videos. If you are one of my subscribers, I uh, just want to say thank you for coming back and checking out another one of my videos. Um, I've been sick lately. I've been sick a lot over the past month. Uh, a lot of sinus drainage, a lot of chest congestion, uh, been on antibiotics, um, just doesn't seem to be working. Uh, even though it started out as bacterial, I think it turned viral. But it, it got me thinking about medical, uh, medical equipment, medical, um, uh, you know, uh, just gear in general. So it has been a while since I've, I've put a, a medical uh, video together. And it seems to be that the majority of the, the videos that are reviewed on my channel seems to be uh, uh, medical concentrated. So uh, with that being said, I thought that um, I've waited too long and I needed to get uh, a new up-to-date video of my IFAC that I, I carry in my truck now. Uh, this is a kit that I take with me, uh, you know, again, uh, hunting, hiking, you know, camping. Uh, anytime that I'm mobile uh, away from my truck and I can't take my trauma bag with me, um, you know, this kit goes in the woods with me. So, so it's a, uh, this is a uh, EMT tearaway pouch from uh, SOE uh, gear, uh, SOE equipment. They make absolutely unbelievable equipment. Um, very um, highly um, constructed, very well built. Um, I'm not sure if any of you other guys uh, follow John Willis and his uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you may not agree with his business uh, practices, uh, but uh, the guy makes unbelievable gear. I've never had a bad experience with him. Uh, I own several other items, and uh, this just happens to be one of them. Now, uh, there's a lot of other kits out on the market, um, and there's not anything that necessarily says, hey, if you're going to go out and buy a IFAC, you need to go out and buy one of these. If you're going to buy something, though, that's... Um, uh, military type focused uh, that's either going to be mollied onto a bag you know a chest rig something of that uh, nature you, you really want to get something that's good high quality and that's going to be built to last so uh, we're going to go into uh, more detail of this uh, bag uh, here or this kit here very shortly um, but also too I wanted to uh, talk to you really quick about actually building your kit uh, there's nothing again that says that you have to go out and buy one of these uh, particular bags. Now, uh, maybe you want to run a trauma bag in your uh, truck. You know, you can actually go out and buy a fishing bag, uh, which will work just as well, uh, if not uh, better than a you know a range bag. Speaking of range bag, this is what I use for my medical uh, trauma bag inside of my car. Now. We will go into detail at one point. I just want to kind of give you a sneak peek of some of the things uh, that I am going to be working on um, that we will be doing a review. Uh, but just due to the in-depth of the amount of material that I carry with me, it's going to take some time. So um, anyway, I can put this uh, review together a lot uh, quicker uh, for you guys uh, for your review. And uh, also, too, here's another, um, you know, backpack from REI. Uh, this would make actually a, a really good medical uh, stomp bag maybe for your for your home um, you know or your bug out retreat uh, something of that nature so anyway just wanted to show you a couple things and also too I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you one uh, big one the the big bag that I've not uh, shown anybody else yet which is this guy so uh, I will again eventually be doing a review on this. Just want to give you a little sneak peek of uh, this big boy here. This is a stomp bag from Voodoo Tactical. Um, and it is just absolutely crammed full. Also too, my trauma bag that I showed you just a second ago. This is also from Voodoo Tactical. Uh, they make some really good stuff. Um, especially for the money. Um, I think this bag here was forty dollars. I got at a gun show. That bag right there was a hundred. Um, so a very, a very fair, uh, fairly priced. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to the review. All right, guys. So uh, again, this is the IFAC uh, EMT tearaway pouch from SOE uh, Equipment. Um, they make, like I said, absolutely unbelievable gear. 
I mean, just look at the size of the zipper, uh, the channel that's on this bag. This is extremely well uh, constructed. It is heavy duty. Uh, it's a very thick nylon. Um, it is uh, triple stitched, um, probably even quadruple stitched in some areas. Let's see if you get close up there, the stitching. Again, very well constructed. Uh, if you're not familiar with a EMT uh, pouch, um, or if this is the first video you've ever seen on my channel, uh, basically this is designed at Molly's on to uh, whatever equipment that you've got it attached to, you know, maybe a uh, some kind of bar inside of your vehicle, uh, your your bag, again, a chest rig, a uh, vest, whatever. Uh, and then when you need it and the need arises, you grab it and you just pull on this and it, tear away, it tears away from this panel. Now, I've got mine set up a little bit differently. And if you've watched my video uh, prepping your truck, you can also see how I run this uh, inside of my truck. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. Now, I'm not going to go into any really detail about this. Um, this is a was a prototype IFAC. Uh, I had the privilege of meeting a SEAL Team uh, former medic, and um, this was a prototype that him and a couple guys out of Little, uh, Little Creek, uh, Virginia, were working on. As far as I know, it never made it to uh, production. Uh, I've never seen another one like it. Um, I did uh, pay a, a decent amount of money for this thing. But, um, again, there's really not a whole lot of reason to go into detail about that because you cannot find it. I, that's the most item I get asked the uh, absolute most about uh, off of my uh, medical equipment. So, uh, up front, I've actually got the smaller set of North American Rescue uh, shears. Um, I like these a little bit better just because they're so small and compact. Um, wanted to run those there light stick. Uh, a lot of people will make comments or send me messages and say, hey, you need to leave that in the plastic container. Um, guys, in all honesty, I don't care. These things are, are very inexpensive. I cycle through them periodically. Um, you know, as I do, I'll break them open, give them to the kids to play. Um, you know, so it's not a big deal that I don't keep this in the plastic. I just, uh, you know, I, I just don't want the plastic there. Just personal preference. On the front here, uh, I think this is something that I think is very overlooked. I don't see a lot of this on people's medical kit, kits or equipment. Is a, if I can get it out, it's a jet scream uh, whistle. Uh, this is extremely important. I'll tell you the reason why. Uh, when I rode motocross, I had a real bad accident up on the mountains. And uh, luckily, I was with somebody. Um, I smashed up my ribs pretty bad uh, in the motorcycle wreck. And if I was in a situation where I was by myself, um, and had maybe a similar fall, maybe hit my ribs on a rock off the side of a, a trail, uh, let's say, and I needed to try to get help. There's only so long that you can yell for help. Um, also, too, if you've got a, a broken ribs, uh, a broken rib or ribs, uh, even bruised, extremely bruised, when you try to take that deep breath, it's really going to hurt. Uh, and I'm sure most of you have experienced that as well. So this is something I think is overlooked. Very handy. Also, too, you can get attention if maybe you need help. Uh, working on somebody, you need to get the attention of somebody else. This can raise that alarm. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get this, get into this thing. It's extremely packed. Um, so anyway, we'll just take it. Uh, we'll take it as we go. Let me adjust the camera here just a tad bit. All right. Now the first thing uh, that we come to, we'll go ahead and open, uh, get this out. Is uh, a good friend of mine just recently gave me this, and I thought, man, I've I've needed this a couple times hunting. I'll get a gnat, uh, a mosquito, or some type of uh, just debris from the woods in my eye. Uh, this is just a, a portable eye wash. You, know, you just twist this pop off, apply just a little bit of pressure, uh, keep your eye open, and this will just uh, basically, it's a portable washing station. Um, so thought that was really neat. That was definitely going to have to go in here. Um, <clears throat> on the very, very top, I'm not going to take all this out. But uh, what you'll see here is the nasal uh, pharyngeal tube, okay? Behind it is an Israeli bandage. Pull this up just a little bit. Now, let's see. I will pull this out, too, because a lot of people probably haven't seen this. Um, I picked this up at a recent gun show. <clears throat> wound seal kit. Uh, you can put this uh, on the entry or the exit wound, uh, depending on the size of the exit wound. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, this thing's really neat, and so I keep this in um, also, too, with the chest seal, which I'll show in just a second. Um, so that's absolutely vital for me to keep. Again, this particular kit is not a strictly 
um, a trauma kit, and that's not what it's designed for. This thing treats extreme trauma all the way down to scrapes and, and uh, you know, small lacerations, cuts, things of that nature. Um, here, small roll of duct tape. I've used about half of it. You can pick these, these small individual rolls, um, which are come about a double that size, at um, <clears throat> the camping section at Walmart and uh, places like Dick's Sporting Goods or uh, other retailers will sell uh, those. They usually come in two in a pack. Let's go on and move on up to the top. I'll come back to this here in just a second. Again, if you are one of my subscribers, some of this is going to look familiar to you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, again, I hope you find something that uh, will be beneficial for your kit. Uh, pick this up at the American Red Cross. I've got one locally here in, in town. Um, and this is just a, a small portable mask with the uh, one-way valve. Uh, these things are nice just because if you need to do CPR, especially on somebody you don't know their medical history, um, you know, these are really good and handy to have, and it takes up very small uh, space. Oh, and before I forget, this is how you know it is the original SOE equipment. There's your website, soetacticalgear.com. So, um, they put that on every piece of their gear, so that way you know it's made in the USA. All right, back to the review. So, <clears throat> here I've actually got two pair of gloves. I think it's important to mention that you pre-stage your gloves, okay? Don't take them, wad them up, throw them in there. Hope you find them later because when you need them, you're going to need them right then, especially if you're working on somebody, um, again, that we, we don't know the medical history. Uh, maybe it's just somebody that, you know, uh, gets injured really bad at a park. You're trying to help them out. Maybe it's a kid uh, who got hurt at your kid's birthday party. You never know, but... Uh, you know, there's, there's always uh, precautions that we need to take uh, if we're helping somebody out. So, anyway, these are pre-staged, uh, two individual sets, and uh, you may ask, well, why do you need two uh, sets? Well, for one, uh, uh, these gloves can become completely soiled uh, with blood, okay, which makes it uh, it's going to be harder to work on uh, the bandages, work on the patient. So sometimes you may need to actually discard those, switch to a fresh pair, or maybe I'm actually doing um, some work on someone and I've got somebody else who maybe is an EMT, off-duty cop, something of that effect, uh, you know, a firefighter. I can give them another set of gloves. So now we've got two people working on a patient. Uh, to help, uh, you know, possibly save a life. So that just wanted to mention that. Uh, behind that is a compressed H and H gauze uh, packet there that's vacuum sealed. Here we have the orange pharyngeal tube. Uh, I call it the actual J hook because it looks like a J. Now what this does is this is designed the the number one cause of blockage of airway on a patient. Uh, that's when unconscious is the tongue. So what this does is this simply, um, you uh, open the patient's mouth, you slide this in, flip it around, this fits in the roof of their mouth, okay? The teeth will fit here in this channel, and this uh, just de depresses the tongue, just keeps that down. Uh, if you need to do CPR, okay, um, if you're not going to use, you can still use the mask, but this also provides uh, channels for the breath, your airway, to travel into the patient's lungs. So uh, there are different sizes. Uh, I just picked some up at a gun show. Let me show you real quick what the other sizes and colors will look like. Uh, I bought this entire kit uh, at the most recent gun show. And right there, MedStorm. So you might be able to find them. Actually, right there is a telephone number you could order uh, out of California. So anyway... And then it's actually got the uh, sizes there and the colors, okay? And so as you can see, I've got all the way down to infant sizes. So anyway, uh, I got this entire kit for $10. Really handy. I keep that in my big medical uh, kit inside my, my truck. All right. Going back to this, um, I've got some quick clot here, okay? Here I also have an EpiPen. Now this EpiPen is a little bit different from... Uh, the other ones that I usually carry, uh, just because this one's uh, round uh, versus square, so it fits in my kit a little bit better, uh, and that's the reason why I keep this one um, in here. So, all right, now here is the chest chest seal. Uh, now I've got the a uh, ACS. This is the one I most commonly come across. Uh, 
I do have a halo seal. Uh, really, these are personal preference, uh, but again, this is just happened to be the one, um, and, and these are actually really good. Uh, they come in a lot of kits, North American Rescue as well. Um, so anyway, this is important. Uh, I see a lot of guys, though, when I'm, I'm cruising around uh, or, uh, YouTube and um, I'm looking at other people's videos, a lot of people will mention that they'll take plastic wrapper and they'll, um, you know, they'll say, yeah, I'm going to pre-cut this and then I'm going to put some tape on it and that's what I'm going to use for my chest seal. Well, I mean, the reality is if you just got shot in the chest, what's going to be the likelihood that you're going to be able to actually do those fine motor skills, okay? Um, what's the likelihood that you're going to be able to do that if your buddy just took a round? Um, that you're going to be able to whip that up. Can you do it? Yes. Should you be able to know it in a pinch? Absolutely. But if you've got the time and the, and the energy to, um, you know, preset your kit up, go ahead and do this because this saves you time and time saves lives, period. Um, so anyway, I, I keep this in here as well. Um, now here up on the top, I've got a rolled uh, gauze. Now what's, what's nice about this one is that um, if you pull from the center here, okay, if you open the package up and you pull from the center, now let's say if you had a laceration across an arm or leg, you can take it and you can pack it into the wound, then you can uh, wrap it um, on top of that, or you can just strictly wrap it, just depends on uh, your personal preference. Um, so uh, these, these things are really nice, I really like the, uh, the roll gauze. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, I'm, I've been underneath the weather, so I apologize if it sounds like I'm talking through a straw. Um, in here, I keep all kinds of things. I've got some seri strips. Um, I've got some neosporin. A uh, pair of hemostats. Uh, let's see. I also have a suturing kit in here. Uh, various uh, different bandages. Gauze pads. Uh, let's see what else generic Benadryl, I've got a Modium AD, again just a variety of things. I've had it in this waterproof um, container and I'll tell you what also too, be, be wary, uh, I'm going to save you some money. I can't tell you how many of these I've had ruined because this side is paper. It's, a, uh, it's like a wax paper but it will absorb water. And I'll tell you what, I've had a lot of these ruined because what's happened is I've put this kit inside my pack when I go hiking. And as the condensation from my water bladder, as it sweats, this thing has absorbed the water. It's traveled through, at least with my Condor pack it did, and then soaked all the way through this thing. So um, granted, I could have used it, but um, I just decided I would rather have one that's completely sterile. So I just tossed it, and uh, I actually used it as a training aid. Uh, to teach some other guys how to use this, and um, anyway, just got me another one, another one to replace it. So um, anyway, just a variety of things in this. Now, inside of this little zipper pocket here, I have all kinds of goodies. Let's go ahead and open this up. First thing we come to is a bottle of Stingies. Um, I probably use this more on my kids more than anything, getting bit by uh, mosquitoes and such uh, when we're camping. I've actually got some a little bit of campfire um, stuff there from the last trip that we took. Here, hand sanitizer. Now, this is the foam kind. Uh, you can actually pick this up um, uh, at a couple different places, and uh, I believe I might have even picked this up at a gun show from Adventure Medical Kits. Nice little thing to have. You just twist it, use it as you need it. But, you know, either you're going to wash your hands maybe before suturing a wound, especially afterwards, you want to make sure that you use that as well. Anything that you can help to keep the infection down um, is going to be extremely important. Here, <clears throat> this is not one of the heavy-duty uh, Mylar emergency blankets, but uh, it comes in very handy. And the reason being is because uh, if a patient... Uh, if somebody has lost a lot of blood, you know, the likelihood that they're going to go into shock is, is going to be increased, okay? Uh, maybe they're going into shock because of just sheer trauma, something that they've seen. Uh, they've been involved in a really bad accident. Um, you know, there, a lot of things can happen. The uh, human mind is, um, it, it's amazing, but it can also, too, be damaged. Um, I know that I've been in some pretty severe car accidents myself in my, in my life, and uh, I've been very blessed to walk away from those, but uh, you know this will be good if you happen to be the first responder. You come up on the scene of an accident, 
maybe all the internal uh, the injuries appear to be internal because you don't see any external bleeding. Uh, but the patient, um, you know, they state that they're cold. This is something that you can help uh, maybe boost that morale a little bit, just ensure them, you know, that, that help is on the way. Um, because in those types of situations, best thing to do is not move the patient, leave them uh, be if at all possible. Uh, all right, now let's go ahead and break these out. These are um, tagoderm film, tagoderm strips as I call them. I got a couple different sizes. Um, these are the large ones. I've got the small ones in there as well. Um, anyhow, the uh, basically these are really good. You'll notice a lot of these, like the smaller ones, they'll they'll place the butterfly IV on the hand and they'll stick those on there. Um, or if you um, like on the bend of your elbow, the larger IVs, um, and and these are breathable. But what these do is these help help keep infections out. So picture this: you're you're out hiking. Uh, maybe you fall, you have a nasty laceration on your leg, and you've got to suture that wound up. Well, you know, let's say it's going to take you some time to get out of the woods. Well, guess what? After you suture that wound up, you can apply this, and as you're traveling through the streams or maybe where your sock is, it's not going to continue to rub and irritate that wound, uh, make it worse, or uh, help uh, induce um, infection into that wound. Uh, especially going through streams uh, because, you know, the, the chances of you, um, you know, getting a, a water pathogen inside of that uh, wound is going to be really high. So these are really great, but just remember, you can't put this on. It's not a magic film. You put it on, your wound's going to heal. You still need to take this off and allow that wound to, to breathe and clean it um, at the end of the day. So just keep that in mind. So I keep uh, two different sizes here depending on the size of the wound. Also, too, especially if you do any type of hiking uh, at all, um, this is pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, don't use duct tape. I mean, it's just not designed for that. You can in a pinch, um, but again, that's just not what it's designed for. So, let's see what else we got here. All right, some chapstick. Um, you'll notice a lot of people, if they get really dehydrated, um, their lips become very dry. Uh, and cracked, they bleed. Um, so this is really just kind of like a comfort item. Um, and you can, I cannot start a fire with this. I've tried. Um, it just doesn't work for that. Uh, but this is some really good stuff. Here I've got uh, a, a little small bottle of Betadine. I cannot remember the company that I got this from. Granger, that's it. I got this from Granger, and they sell a lot of these little bottles. Um, and uh, this is just some really good stuff to keep in your uh, in your kit. Uh, just because this stuff is really good about killing just about everything. Make sure, let's see what else we got. All right, I've got just a small, you know, like the Tylenol bottles or aspirin bottles that you pick up uh, at a uh, you know, convenience store, Walmart on your checkout. Uh, I just keep medication inside of here, uh, prescription medication for me. Let's see if there's anything else. That's a pretty deep pocket. Um, anyway, let's open this box up. You can buy these at Walmart. They're a dollar. They just basically come with Band-Aids. But what I've done is I spruced it up a little bit because I'm all about customization. First thing you're going to see is you're going to see a scalpel, sterilized, uh, vacuum sealed scalpel, a uh, couple packs of Cellox, which is just absolutely great for small lacerations or those wounds that just seem to bleed and just won't stop bleeding. These are really good. Uh, you can pick those up at Walmart as well. A good pair of tweezers, okay? A good pair. Uh, those plastic pair of tweezers that you get in most medical kits, take those and throw those in the garbage, okay? Because they are absolutely worth nothing, okay? You need to invest in the money to go buy you a good set. So, also too in here, I've got a variety of different bandages, uh, some migraine medication, uh, other medication. Uh, I've got some iodine, uh, little swabs here. Uh, also have a uh, nasal inhalant, um, and then there's another water, some waterproof uh, bandages down there at the bottom. So just a just a variety of things. So anyway, uh, I hope that you found something inside of this kit that was beneficial to you, uh, whether it be your family medical bag, your personal eye fact that you're using, um, you know, to keep in your vehicle, uh, your bug out bag, whatever. Uh, but uh, again, if this is the first time you've checked out my uh, channel, um, uh, I hope that you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. 
just let me know. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, also, too, if uh, you like what you saw, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button so that you can be up to date on my future videos as I post them. Take care, guys. Have a great day.